Biden admin signals that Afghan pullout isn't actually a pullout, as Trump police peace plan shattered. And I'm going to call this Trump Afghanistan peace plan to become Biden's non peace peace plan. <laughs> And this is our. This is from our editor, editor's choice report. So the Biden peace plan inherited from Trump won't be honored, says Blinken. And this is a Biden Afghanistan peace talks plan. Blinken, pull out, Blinken. I do love the last name Blinken. I don't know. I think it's a great last name. Uh, Blinken, Blinken, Blinken. It sounds like a friendly person. Should be a first name. Hi, my name is Blinken. Not a last name, but first name. You know what? I like it as a first name. It's a last name. No, should be Blinken. I'm gonna call myself Blinken. No. I'm going to call myself Paul. You can call me Paul. But still, I don't know. If I was named Blinken, I wouldn't complain. I know that's a total distraction, but it's probably more important than this. <laughs> or maybe not. Blinken says Trump pull out from Afghanistan doesn't mean we're leaving from SputnikNews.com. There you go. That's, now, remember, Sputnik News is Russian propaganda site, so duly noted. So U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says there will still be U.S. presidents in Afghanistan after the pullout of American forces is completed. And he says, we've been engaged in Afghanistan for 20 years and we sometimes forget why we went there in the first place. And that was to deal with the people who attacked us on 9-11. Now it was to make money. It was to make money and create power for the corporate national corpo state nationalists that's that's what it was for they used 911 as 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 the vehicle of power to get all of us to enter into that with them so that was their moral outrage that which justified moral outrage at people who flew buildings into into or flew planes into buildings that that murdered thousands of people justified moral outrage but it it went to the wrong it, went, it was focused in the wrong direction, as is usual, and the real powers behind whatever happened on 911, other than the people who actually flew the planes, uh, most likely the real powers haven't suffered the consequences. And no, I'm not saying I'm not, an, I'm not going down a 9-11 conspiracy rabbit hole. I don't think you need a 9-11 conspiracy rabbit hole to understand that 911, uh, that, that, that it, it wasn't necessarily an inside job, but... It was a job that could have easily been stopped. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. But anyway, they created the moral outrage, which was easy to do. Like I said, moral outrage at human beings just murdering three thousand human other human beings for whatever reason. Yeah, that's justified moral outrage. But they they created a moral outrage that was pinned at a whole people group, basically everybody in the Middle East. And they wanted to subhumanize everybody in the Middle East so that they could go and they could test their toys on the lives of human beings, overwhelmingly mostly innocent human beings. Most human beings, wherever you're born, there you are. And you, you have very little opportunity to discover that where you're born isn't really the totality of what is. And you become whatever you're born into because you just don't have time to contemplate and meditate and and figure out exactly who you are you you become the person that your culture says that you should become so even the people that may have supported 911 that lived in these lands i still consider them innocent victims the only real guilty are the ones on high that know that it's all bs and that they're just manipulating humans for their own personal power and this was all about the personal power always is personal power of a few people so 911 gave them the the helped them create a boogeyman that we all fell for well m most of us did i certainly did and uh, from that we we were glued to our tv screens and watched iraq getting bombed and we felt like power america power we're finally we're putting the ghost of vietnam to bed because we finally have a clear victory that's kind of how many of us felt about it and, and even now you know i've already i've already, i've repented of my sins for those days so uh, I've done that. Uh, and then he continues, and we did just because our troops are coming home. Doesn't mean we're leaving. We're not. And we're going to be covering this, continuing to watch this. And we did a story some time ago where we talk about how what Biden is really doing is he, he's making the Afghan war not a public war, but a private war. And he, he's kind of in a pick. And the reason why, well, I think first and foremost, the reason why they're doing that is because Trump's peace plan is wildly popular with the American people. 
and it's Trump that, that really did want to get out of Afghanistan. And they never wanted to get out of Afghanistan. They resisted even when he announced it. We had people resisting it. I know we had a couple of members in the GOP, but mostly in the DNC, they're the ones that were resisting this peace plan. They don't want out of Afghanistan because Afghanistan is money. Afghanistan is a proving ground for them to be able to test their toys. And this is what nation states that have the power to do so always do. Whenever they can, they like to be involved in distant wars that allow them to test their toys. So they're testing their toys on, on the flesh of others that aren't their citizens, not because they love their citizens more, but because they're they're more concerned about what their citizens might do in reaction to it, to, to being killed. The, the Iraqi people don't have the power to uh, stop the U.S. government like the U.S. people do, so it's better to kill Iraqis than it is Americans. And I think, uh, I don't know, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And, well, I'll just read a couple more headlines here. So from Breitbart, we have the left loves the power over speech big tech has. This is, uh, this is like I said, this is our editor's choice report. So check out some of these stories. You can read them for yourself. China releases first super scale AI model. This is from Synced. Chad Junta names transition government from France 24. Is press freedom incompatible with gender empowerment from globalissues.org? Yes, that's a serious question. Quote, unquote, serious question that people are asking. That, all of these could be their own segments. Philippines vows to continue maritime exercises in South China Sea from News 24. And finally, Iran, U.S. agreed to prisoner swap and release of frozen funds. It's a pro, uh, this is todayonline.com. Now, I should I put this in there, and I, I should have other things in there. But uh, I just put this in there, kind of agitprop, because now the U.S. is saying, no, 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 we didn't do that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out fact and fiction as the day goes on.